Okay, we're back to another box break. First time ever, we're going double box break. Two different things. Um, this one's actually already got like labeling on it, uh, USC, which is why I've got the t-shirt on. So we're gonna crack this one first. So, you know, I don't often talk about exposure lights that much just because this year I'm not really focusing too much on multi-day events but that's going to change going forward um, for next year for sure so basically I've got Badlands in a couple of weeks my first ultra of the year it was last year I done two so I just sent off my lights confirmed MOT pass from exposure lights so my light set up. Uh, two seconds. It is this exposure booster R on the back. Down there. And then I have helmet one, which is. If I can get it out, is the joystick. That's what I have on the helmet. Um, and then on the K Edge mount, I have the Zenith. Those are my three lights for my light setup. Helmet, the bike one, I'll keep on in the night all time. And then for technical terrain, and when maybe I want to look around um, for turns or you know predominantly on descents, I'll turn the helmet one on. And if I'm not necessarily using it for like a long period of time, I'll put it in my um, hydro vest just so I've not got that weight on my head um, for my neck, which is probably a good idea. And on top of that, I, my neck's a bit iffy anyway. So I've also got a box here. So actually, I just sent off the two uh, silver lights, the bike lights, the helmet light. Um, okay, so this wasn't expecting this. I have got, I've not actually used one of these before, Exposure Toro. So this looks pretty heavy duty. If, if predominantly I'm using this one as my bike light, you can see it's literally like twice the size. So. Pretty heavy duty light there. I need to look into using that. Maybe I will use this in Badlands. I need to play my setup. Um, I couldn't mount this on the. I could mount this on my zip bars because they are, um, you know, traditionally round. So that'd be easy to mount on there. Or I could also fit it under the stem like I would with this one. Um, so yeah, nice little addition there. Um, I can get trying that out because of potentially. Um, oh, I want to use that too. So yeah, mega package from um, USC Exposure Lights. Massive thanks for doing MOT check. Um, yeah, they, said, they just said they were perfect. I mean, they're only maybe 14 months old. So great to see they're in perfect condition. Okay, straight down, straight now to the next box break. Um, I'm kind of inspired with the whole box break thing because I was into watching a lot of Pokemon box break videos. That's where I kind of got the, the phrase from. Um, okay, what have we got in here? Okay, we have... Cask. So we have a Cask helmet from Velo Brands. A Protone Icon White Medium. So I've got the Elemento, which I really, I'm really getting on with and I really like. But the issue was um, for the screw through light mount, the plastic light mount, you can't um, really fit that on the Elemento. So I wanted to get a um, Protone. 
just so I can get that screw through mount through here because the, it's a bit higher up, the Elemento is a bit lower and it's not as easy to fit it on the inside. So I have, yeah, Cast Protone Icon from Bella Brands. So I'm using this in Badlands. And yeah, I just thought, you know, just go for white, favorite normal um, helmet color I choose. So yeah, big thanks to Bella Brands for hooking me up. Um, so yeah, kind of building the inventory of everything for Badlands. I will do a, just need to get a few more things. And then I'm going to set up a video and I'm going to go through step by step of like each thing I'm taking and reason why in terms of, you know, equipment, accessories, clothing, um, everything. So, yeah, I'll try and put that video together um, ahead of Badlands, which 